Today I'm on Roblox Studio and I'm going to be showing you how to add in particle emitter effects inside of an instance script. So this is just a little bit more advanced than actually adding in a particle emitter into a regular part through the Roblox Studio. That one would be a little bit easier to do. But this is actually, let's say if you're creating a magic spell or something like that. So let's just go ahead and play here and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by this. So if I type in the incantations for a spell and cast it as you can see it emits sparks and for right now it's just sitting still so we can see it and if we type in another spell and cast it oh and so uh oh output Oh, I was just getting mad lag. Okay. Well. Wow. Alright, so as you can see, whenever I cast that spell, you see how this one has a lot more of an advanced effect? Now, if I actually go through here and change this, so I'm going to come in here to the script. Now, this is actually the velocity of the script, so if I change this to 85, this is going to make the ball move at 85 studs so let me go ahead and show you so now if i cast the spell you see how the particle effect follows it kind of like a trail but it's actually not a trail a trail is its own thing i'm going to get into that a different time but if i casted this spell i'm going to go ahead and show you again so this is what it looks like beforehand see it just has sparks now, I'm going to come in here, and what you need to do is add it after your instance has been created. So it has to know that the magic spell, or whatever, if you're creating a bullet, it doesn't matter if you're having whatever you're adding. You need to add in that I'm going to be putting the piece of code that I typed in in the description. And this is just saying that the emitter's parent is actually the game's workspace that magic spell now if you're going to be at changing it from magic spell it doesn't matter if it, what you name it like if it's going to be a bullet you would change it to game dot workspace dot bullet if that's whatever instance you're creating if that makes sense to you it should make sense to you if you're pretty advanced at scripting so what this is doing is taking the texture of the emitter so you can change the texture to whatever you want and the emitter color is just a color sequence. So what a color sequence is, is basically just a random series of colors. So this is a color sequence right here in a beam. This is a green and a red color sequence. So now if I cast the spell, the same exact spell that we just did with the new emitter piece in. Oh, God. Why is it not casting this well? Oh, I know why. Because I pasted it in wrong. I think I pasted it in the wrong spot. Points for velocity five. No, it should be. Oh, I know why I need to add in the uh, okay. So, the reason that the script wasn't working that I should have added in is you need to add in this local key point so what this is doing is this is actually pulling the local emitter from the workspace so you add this at the top my bad forgot the most important part one of the most important parts you need to add this in at the top so 
now. Okay. Whew. Saved. So now, you see it has the particle effect. Now if we come in here and we change it, the same thing, the velocity to 85. Cast the same spell. As you can see, it now has a particle effect. And you could actually make it so that the ball is invisible too. If we came over here and to the transparency and changed it to one. Now, it will just be the particle effect. You won't see the red ball at all. So let me go ahead and actually change the velocity down to zero so that you guys can see that so it's not flying away so fast. So by changing the transparency, now you will only see your effect. So now it just looks kind of like a magic spell. And it's sitting still because I changed the velocity, but hopefully you guys understand. And I will be leaving the code exactly how it should be pasted, including this top piece. So let me go in here and actually add in this. And I'll be adding in exactly what I did to get this spell to work. So leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more.